Are you a 34-year-old beautiful girl desperate to get pregnant? What if I told you chiropractic treatment could help? Would you believe me? Check out this video. So, Carissa, tell us why you're in America first and then we'll go from there. Um, because we're trying for almost three years and then, um, I was so devastated because, you know, doing this is it's not my thing, actually. Chiropractic is that your thing? Or? No, what I mean is, because for me, if God could give it to me. Gotcha. Yeah. I totally get it. Yeah. yeah. That's why, oh, I don't know. Yeah. I can do this. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know, I know, I know, I know. She, she's really nervous, and I get, I think you can hear her voices, guys. But again, I just want to get her captured on here because, again, you. Because I've been through a lot. You've been through a lot. I totally yeah. get it. This is a very emotional thing, but you're going to help to a lot of women out there. There's a lot of women out there that have the same problem. They have no idea how chiropractic can help. So I really, really thank you. Try to make it through it if you can. Uh, this is really important. Okay. So she can see the emotional distress she has, and she really, really wants to be pregnant. She's worried about God. Does God want to take it from her and not give her this, or does God intend her to go through this journey? The big thing she had when she was uh, 18 years ago, she was a cheerleader. Of course, you can see that in her. She, no, yeah. And so she landed aware. Where'd you land when you fell? Uh, here. On the back of her head. Back yeah. Head. And so she landed hard, had to go to the hospital. Nothing, fro another fracture, but ever since then, tell us about your pain in your head. Tell us about the pain. Back um, every time I was asleep, at night, and then when I woke up here at the side, there's a pain. What happened to your eyes? Um, strain. It is strain my eyes, and then sometimes I had got a headache from watching TV, yeah. right? And sleep. Tell us about your sleep. Oh, you think it's great because she's <laughs> she's a pothead now. <laughs> no, she's not a pothead. Uh, she does CBD oil. Yeah. And so since then, I go, why did you CBD oil? Because we had terrible sleep. So she's had terrible sleep for a number of years, right? Mm -hmm. And so she's taken, started doing the CBD oil. She thinks she has better sleep now. Mm -hmm. But she's had horrible anxiety and depression for every month, for, for years. For years. And diving into Chris's x-rays, we see a four millimeter left imbalance and eight degree spinal curve. Here we have 16 degree scoliosis, where the baby will grow, by the way. Here we have met mid neck reversal and one third atlas wear with a wisdom tooth in there also, and rib calcification and constipation in this last few. Tell us, Carissa, what you think happened in the last 12 hours since your first adjustment. How are you feeling? Um, last night I slept around 9, and then after that, I woke up around 1.44 this morning, and I felt that I'm okay, and I'm not feeling tired. But then when I slept again, around, I woke up around 7, 7.14, and then I felt that I'm so tired. Gotcha. So, do you think you slept better or worse than normal? Um, Meaning, uh, rested wise. For me, it's better. Much. It's because you just slept longer, yeah. right? Under. So she's a little tired, guys, because she hasn't slept in years. And so, when you start to sleep, when you start to feel better, you feel tired still because she's just sort of just catch catching up right now. Uh, how about your pain? How about pain wise? Oh, pain wise. Your headache. How about your headache? Um, the headache's gone. Yeah. So she had headache every morning, on the left side, right? Yeah. Here. And when she wakes up in the morning, she, she thought it was because she's laying on the pillow. But you had, do you have a pillow? Uh, did you have any um, headache this morning? No. No. So her headache for all this time is gone. This is the one she landed on her head 18 years ago. Anything else different? She also has some still pain in her left shoulder blade that hasn't gone away completely, which we're working on. But again, we've only adjusted her twice. Anything, anything else you want to share, kiddo? Um, I think I need, you need to start it. <laughs> that's fine. Not anything else you think of, that's all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's just ask you one more question. What do you think of these adjustments? Do you like them now a little bit more? I love it. It's oh, now amazing. you love it. And I want to come back here, and I'm so excited. Oh, you are? Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't get that from <laughs> I'm your going comments. back here. <laughs> Good. So you're, you love it. I love yeah. It. And the reason she, why do you love it, by the way? Let's ask, let's tell them why you love it. I don't know. It feels like um, the adjustment is so good. Um, it feels like, um, what do you call this? It's fixing my body. That not only my skeletal structure, but it's my body, mind, and my soul. It's just like that. I love that. <laughs> and so, uh, let's just talk about one other thing. Don't mention any names, but how is this compared to the Philippine chiropractor that you saw a couple weeks ago? Oh, it's very different. And it's not, not just the adjustment wise, but do you feel a different, different results too? Yeah, actually it's just like a magic. Um, before, yeah, yeah, before in the Philippines, it's not like this. 
Oh my god. Ah. Whew. Whew. Ah. So why so emotional? I'm curious because oh. this is the third time. Why still so emotional? Not that it's a bad thing. It just feels. Uh, because it feels great. It feels great. <laughs> yeah, good, it's good, amazing good, good, experience. Good, 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 good. I love it. Good. That's funny. Okay. Relax. Right, left shoulder relax. You're doing good, kiddo. Kiddo. Good, good, good. Whew. So the reason it took so long to get her adjusted because she was fighting me a little bit more. Yeah, I had a great sleep last night and then I woke up very energetic and it looks like um, I'm normal again because before it's like I'm a lousy person. I just want to lay down at the bed. Not um, lousy, lazy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <It's fine. laughs> I'm just translating. Yeah, I'm translating. okay. And sometimes I want to just stay at home. And now watch I want, eight hours of movies. Yeah, and now I want to go out and walk a lot like that. Yeah, and go to so, the gym. So it's not just about getting out of pain, guys. It's about quality of life. Her quality yeah. of life is coming back. She wants to live life again. And so what happens? You get so indoctrinated with pain, you want to do nothing, which makes you actually worse. Yeah. It just spirals out of control, right? And so tell us about your dreaming. I want to know about your dreaming. Oh. She said she used to dream all the time, remember yeah. all the dreams. So tell us, she woke up and dreaming this morning, what about it? Uh, I had a eight hour sleep last night, but then after I woke up, um, I remember all my dreams, yeah. I remember my dog, uh, because I lost my dog, but I remember that um, he's alive and I was petting him, petting him like that. and. There's a manhunt, airplanes, <laughs> raining. Yeah, but she it, said the, the trick is, is I get yeah. she wants to tell us about her her dreams, but really she stopped dreaming for a while. Oh. Yeah, you still feel some tension in her neck, guys. Mm. So you can definitely feel the tension. Oh. oh. <laughs> <sighs> what do you feel? Oh, everything down. Everything down? You feel into your shoulder blade too a little bit? Yeah. Uh, it's painful. <laughs> Everything's painful, right? Okay. Oh. oh! Okay. Did you feel that? Yeah. <laughs> Shoulders. Okay. Oh! Good. So, can you tell the camera how is that different than the other adjustments? It's good. It's good. Carissa, uh, what has happened this week? How do you feel? What's going on? I'm um, feeling much better now. Um, there's no more pain. I think my anxiety is gone. Your anxiety? Yeah. Gotcha. How, um, you think you didn't have many problems before you started. How has this experience changed your perception of chiropractic? And I'm, I'm just kind of curious. Actually, I didn't know that my bone structure is so, you know, messed up like mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I didn't know that my body can't hold the baby. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. why we went here and then we saw the um, x-rays. The x um, I was so shocked. Yeah. And now, since I know that you're going to fix me, I'm so relieved gotcha. and I'm so thankful. Yes, no, no. I'm thankful that, you know, again, I love that I can help people that don't even have any clue of how we're going to help them. And she's talking about the x-rays, which you guys are going to see already on this on this video. But she's still talking about the x-rays. She was so blown away by what she saw. I go, I go, do you think it's easy for her to carry a baby when your spine is straight or when it's curved? She can see. I mean, logically, you just look at it. You can see that there's a problem. So I'm glad that I at least opened her eyes to that. She feels different from the chiropractic we've done for her. And so I have every uh, aspirate that she's going to be able to get pregnant because she wants to be able to get pregnant. She's done this for two years and tried and tried and tried. And so hopefully this is the groundwork that uh, is necessary to get her over the over the barrel. So let's go through the um, let's go over some of the symptoms you had. You're not pregnant yet, are you? <laughs> Sorry, we have to ask that. That was primary thing on here. Okay, so uh, you had left occipital headache every morning when you woke up. How's that been all week? It's gone. It's gone. Yeah. How long have you been suffering with that? For quite a while, right? Yeah. Yeah, and so that's gone. That went the first day. Yeah. First day, pretty much, right? First day. And then how about low back pain? Once a month. You don't really have a lot, but you have. she has back pain because of the injections. She's getting yeah. 
bam, 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 bam. injections constantly. And then um, heartburn, any change in the heartburn at all? No more heartburn. No more heartburn. No more heartburn. And then uh, dizziness. No more dizziness. How often were you dizzy before? I forgot how dizzy. Every day? Um, I think it's almost. For three years day. in the morning. You had every yeah. morning. Every you're morning, dizzy. just every morning. And so, how's it dizzy now? I mean, but dizzy no. in the morning. Gotcha. You have ringing the ears too. No more ringing the ears. All right. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> and how often did you have that? Um, was I that think, every morning too? Yeah, every day. Every day, and yeah. that's gone too. Yeah, it's gone. Gotcha. Now the big thing with her, she talked about anxiety, but her anxiety is better because of why? How's your sleep? I can sleep more than eight hours. <laughs> I can imagine that. Yeah, how long? How and long? Do you remember sleeping that long in the past? No. Not for a long I time. I always wake up around 3 a.m. in the morning and then I'm going to sleep around 6 a.m. Just try then, to go back yeah. to sleep. So you wake up. Now, how, do you have to wake up at all anymore? You just sleep all through, right? Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Now, a side note her husband's too chicken to be on camera. But I've been asking her all week to pay attention to her snoring ass husband. He snores, snores really bad, right? Yeah. Like and how now, bad? How bad? Like very bad. <laughs> okay. Worse than that? Bad. Yeah. Like loud, <laughs> like that loud kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so she said she wears earplugs. Yeah. Right. And now. And I told her I go like this. I go take the earplugs out. She goes I don't want to. I can't sleep. She goes take the earplugs out. Just listen for a second. She goes. She goes, uh, the beginning of the week, she goes, oh, no, 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 no. And he snoring. sleeps better now. Yeah, so tell us about the snoring the last couple days for him. Um, we didn't snore anymore. And yeah. I, I think I'm not, uh, I think when I saw him that he's not snoring, is he sleeping? Exactly. <laughs> That's my question. <laughs> is he even is sleeping, he right? Is he sleeping or no? <laughs> right? And he just told us this morning, eight hours of sleep. Yeah. Eight hours of sleep straight through and no snoring. Yeah. So did I just essentially save your marriage? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know this. <laughs> Don't tell him. Okay, but uh, that snoring was pretty bad, right? And so in one week, we took her husband from not from snoring to not snoring, and he's doing a lot better too. But like I said, he's not good on camera, so he's like, I don't want to be on camera. Put my wife on there. Anything else you want to um, mention, Krisa? Anything else you want to say? I'm just, that any other pain I'm just difference? Very thankful that yeah. my pain is gone. I know it's nice, huh? Yeah, yeah. it's amazing. I'm thankful to have you here because I love helping people, like I said, and you're you're very um, warm and you get lots of emotion about how much better you're feeling. So I loved helping you, and I hope the best for your family. Uh, way to get her adjusted um, and let you guys watch. I'm gonna zoom up on her. Okay, we've done this. This is about our third adjustment in the chair. Lower that right shoulder. Over the right shoulder. Nice, good. Okay. Again. Now this again. You're doing great. Okay. Nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And so rewind to the beginning. You'll see how a market change in her posture. You can go back in the room, please. Only five days later, look at her. She's like, it's not perfect, but she can handle it now and it doesn't feel stupid. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Doctor. Thank welcome. you very much. Hope you guys like that. See you guys next time.